Good morning, my brother. We enter into our final week of Summer in Psalms. I pray it's been a, an amazing journey for you. I've never taken this deep of a dive into Psalms in my journey uh, in the Word, and it's been amazing. So I pray that's overflowed to you. Today we're going to dive into chapter 125, and I'm going to read the study part of the verse that I picked, which is verse 1. I'll start there, and then I'll go back and grip it, all right? So here's the study part uh, as additional in my NIV Life Application Study Bible. It says, Have you ever known people who are drawn to every new idea or new fad? Such people are inconsistent, inconsistent and therefore unreliable. The secret to consistency is to trust in God because He never changes. He cannot be shaken by the changes in our world, and he endures forever. The fads, the ideas of the world, and our world itself will not. Strong study on that. So let's go into verse 1. And remember my word. I've got one word, and I've got uh, our life verses found in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. But here you go. Keep looking for themes, guys. For me, verse 1. Those who trust in the Lord are like the Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. All right. Is that trust word again popping up? So that's my G. My R is so many people follow the ways of the world, which is being guided by the winds of evil. My I, my implementation, I want to and need to be aligned to those that follow the word of God, living with a singleness of purpose, which is all about building God's kingdom here on earth. Anybody else want to be around people like that? Man, I, I, I long for it. My prayer as I grip the word down to the P is, Lord, I put my daily trust in you and in your word to guide me and to direct my every step. Lord, use me to help others put their trust in you. All right, guys, there's me gripping Psalm 125, verse 1. I would love to hear what verse rose up for you today. And if there's a theme that's been revealed to you, love to hear that also. All right, I will close this out collectively with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, God, as we open up your word, get a grip on it, Lord, how you speak to us. Holy Spirit, continue to guide us, direct us. Uh, Lord, go before us with your favor. And we ask all of this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. Have an amazing day and we look forward to catching up with you tomorrow.